Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am shopping my local Salvation Army. You guys know how much I love my Salvation Army. They have the best prices. Right now they're only opening like once every three weeks. So every time they're open, I'm there checking them out because I find the cutest vintage farmhouse type stuff. I absolutely love my Salvation Army. Now you do see me kind of bouncing around all over the store. It's because this place was packed on this day and I was really trying to social distance. So if there was a bunch of people down one aisle, I would just move around and go somewhere else where it wasn't as crowded and film there. So I do apologize if it seems like I'm in one section of the store and then I bounce around and I'm in a different one. I'm just really trying to stay safe while I'm out thrifting. So you guys just sit back and relax and come thrifting along with me. In this video, I will be showing you my haul all throughout the video. I do have quite a few of these items styled because there are a lot of Christmas items that I purchased. I wasn't really planning on that, but they were just too cute to pass up. So come along and let's go thrift Salvation Army. Okay, y'all, this is the third Salvation Army trip that I've been here, and this false graph dishware set is still in here. I think when I go back the next time, if it's still there, I'm going to ask them if they'll come down on the price, and I just might have to purchase it because I love it. I bought a couple of the coffee cups not too long ago, and I might just want to complete the set if they'll give me a good deal. Since it's been there a while, she might just do that. I also wanted to share with you guys that I paid $21.67 for everything that I purchased today. If I do know how much something cost, I do share that with you guys. But some of these things, she was giving me the price while I was checking out and, and just charging me like a dollar for this and 50 cents for that. And their receipts are really not itemized. It just has the total on there. So some things I really don't know how much I paid for them. Like that little Santa salt and pepper shaker. I just didn't even ask her. I'm assuming she probably charged me like 50 cents or a dollar. But if there are prices on things that I purchased, I do let you know what the price is. But I did pay $21.67 for everything that I purchased today, which is not a bad deal considering everything that I got.
So, I found this, this is the name brand of this. And there was a couple of younger girls there and they were looking at this and then they put it down and walked off. So I was like, Eek. anyway, I'm always needing a tripod for filming while I'm thrifting and stuff like that. And I loved that this one was small enough that I can use it and hold it in my hand. Anyway, I use my Canon camera when I'm at home mostly, but when I'm out thrifting, I use my cell phone. But this thing just telescopes out like so far and it's so little and light. Look at that, y'all. And they, every one of them were, I get so excited about the smallest things, y'all. this beautiful box because I love to decorate with old country primitive wood type pieces. So I have no idea where this is going to go yet. I'm looking around. But again, because I have so much of my Christmas decor out, I may not get this one styled. Let me show you what's inside. Inside it has like this foam type stuff like it's stuck in there and it has the foam type stuff down here too and then it's sectioned off i don't know what do y'all think this would have been originally i don't know i really got it just because i loved the wood box and i will use it to decorate with Okay, y'all, I've decided to use this for fingernail polish. I absolutely love this idea. I sat and looked at this box for the longest time trying to figure out what I could use it for so it could be useful and not just a piece of decor. And I come up with this. I've placed it underneath Elizabeth's bathroom counter. Um, it's just all open under here so you can see the exposed plumbing and all. So I'm trying to make it look nice. I was going to make a drop cloth curtain to put up here to kind of hide all of this, but I'm afraid I will have it full of junk if I do that. So for now, I'm just trying to make it look kind of nice with some decor pieces, but that are functioning decor pieces. You'll notice I have a basket there that I got at Goodwill with towels in it. So anyway, I'm loving this for now because this box is acting as a decor piece, but it is also functioning as a piece to hold all of our fingernail polish and supplies. Also, you guys, can you please take a look at my buggy for the day? They were so busy that they were out of buggies. So I found this little suitcase and used it as my buggy for the first half of my trip. I finally ended up finding a buggy to put my stuff in, but that's quite hilarious. And y'all, these pieces here were beautiful. I dug them out of here and I left them out. I did not put these pieces back because I wanted them to be out where somebody could see them and purchase them. I thought that they were absolutely adorable. I just did not think that they would fit into my decor, but I know that somebody, and I hope somebody come along and purchase these, especially for that price. But look how much work probably went into these pieces. I just think that these were absolutely adorable.
this is oh gosh what is it called cast iron okay this is so heavy if you remember my garage sale haul where i got the iron well this is like that except it's a little teapot you got you may have saw this in one of those clips and they've been asking $8.99 for this. Like every time I go in there, I see it and I'm like, oh, I would love to have that, but I'm not paying $9 for that. And then today, y'all, I when I was in there, they have they must have known that it is just not selling or something because they had it marked to $2.99. So I was super excited to get this. The lid does actually come off. I got this one for my sister um, and because she was born in 81 but look how beautiful the cover part is but the sleeve I think that's what that's called but most of the time when you take the sleeve off the book part doesn't have the pretty cover but this one did y'all and it is so pretty look at the little pine cones and it's just it's her birth year so i'm going to add this to her gift this year i thought that it would be so fun for her to look back through the 1981 little book and see like what was happening when she was and i don't think anybody ever even used ah stuff falling out i don't think anyone ever even used this book because it is not written in at all anywhere and it has the cutest stuff in and throughout it y'all it's just so sweet i don't know i just love stuff like that so anyway now if you watch nicole north garden's christmas home tour you probably saw this in there and if you didn't go watch it go support her channel um she's a youtube thrifting friend of mine and i adore her channel but anyway she showed this little train on her coffee table and I thought it was adorable. So there's the E. Wait, let me do it in order. So here's, it's supposed to spell Noel. Mine is missing the L, but I'll show you how I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna use the train as the L, but it's still in the packaging that it came in. I don't know if they just lost the L and that's why they donated it or if it just got lost at Salvation Army. I don't know, but it is, it's this cute little train set. Here's the N. Here's the O, the E, and then I'm going to use, since I don't have the L, I'm gonna use the train as the L. That'll work, right? <laughs> You guys, look at these adorable little tumbling reindeer. I got so excited. I didn't get these in the shop with me portion of the video, but I did get them today. It was over there where it was really crowded and I just ended up grabbing them because I saw the one little reindeer sticking out where it was torn. And I was like, oh my gosh, he is so cute. And I love reindeer because you can keep these out all through the winter season also. But y'all, when I pulled these out and started kind of setting them up, I went to another spot in the store and kind of set them up. Y'all, they are precious. Here I'm trying to figure out how to set them all up. And little did I know that they were Fitz and Floyd um, tumbling reindeer. I got so excited because they're in their original box other than this part that is torn. And they are all in excellent condition y'all i was shocked that not one of them was chipped because they have those little antlers you know that are sticking up and i just knew that one of them was going to be broke or messed up and they're not they're absolutely precious but here is how i styled them i styled them in two different ways to see which one y'all liked the best i know which way i like it but i wanted to see what you guys thought i put them here on my buffet in my living room in front of this basket but then I realized they were really kind of blending in with that off-white looking runner. So I do move them to the shelf here as you enter into my hallway. And I absolutely think that I love them better there because they're light colored and that wood color is dark. And so it really makes them kind of stand out. But y'all, they are just precious. And she only charged me a dollar for this box of Fitz and Floyd tumbling reindeer. I was beyond excited because I love them 
so much. They just make me so happy and bring me so much joy just to look at them. They are just so fun. for Elizabeth. I think that this is hilarious. She absolutely loves this. Wear this to a couple of little gathering things that we're going to be having. We're not doing much because everything is shut down, but it was only $1.99 and then it was 25% off of that and it's by this brand. So this is super, super cute. We actually saw some like this at a Macy's or somewhere we went to the other day. And we left it there because it was like $24, ridiculous. So anyway, I was so excited to find this one for $1.99, but then 25% off. I got this for Elizabeth also. I do not understand why these older kids like wearing these things. It's too funny, but they do. They really enjoy it. They all wear them. They think it's funny. So I got her this also. It's from the brand Cat and Jack, and it was also $1.99, but with 25% off. Everything I got was 25% off at the Salvation Army today. So too funny that I got her this and she'll actually wear it at 14 years old, which I think is funny. And then clothes wise for myself, I got this really thin little shirt. I like it long sleeve, but not too thick because we are in Texas. We don't need a lot of really thick stuff anyway. And it's by this brand. I don't know. What does that say? Grayson Thread. Anyway, I just thought it was cute. Be something cute with some leggings around the house or whatever. And it was $2.99, but 25% off. And then I got this. This is so cute. I'll just wear this around the house, I think. I've got a pair of pajama pants that I got at Walmart that has this blue color in it. So this is going to go perfect with that. I think it's really neat. It just says weekend. And it's by this same brand, right? Grayson and Threads. I don't know anything about that, do y'all? But anyway, it's just a basic little, it's not even like really thick fleece. It's just really thin, comfy little shirt, $2.99, and it was 25% off. The last clothing item that I got was for myself also, and it's just this, I don't even know what you call this material. It's kind of not really like fleece, but it's thin, and I don't know, I really like it. I'm not big into stripes. I don't usually do stripes, but I thought that this one was just very cozy and comfortable like it come from old navy and another reason that i got it is this may not be coming off as navy it may be looking black on film but it is actually a dark navy and i have a pair of pants this exact color that i can either dress up or dress down so i figured i could wear those pants with this if i just needed to run to town and have a casual kind of look which that's pretty much my normal look as casual anyway with a ball cap. But anyway, so I got this also $2.99 with 25% off. So I was excited to get this little shirt. It's just really, really comfortable looking shirt. So thank y'all so much for coming along and going thrifting with me today and seeing what I purchased and how I styled it. We hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all and we will see you next week with a brand new video.